Hey, welcome back to Adventures in Engineering. Uh, today I'm going to talk about when things go wrong. So the uh, I turned on my power supply for my CNC machine, my Prover XL, and I saw a flash and a pop noise. And I knew something bad had happened. Usually that means the smoke escaped from the electronics and they would no longer work. But I took it all apart and I want to show you the ultimate fix for this. First, the fuse that's here in the switch. So there is a fuse right there. And this had popped. And uh, hopefully it won't do it again. But uh, anyway, that fixed the initial problem. It did also allow me to, you know, when I opened it all up, I saw there were lots of little aluminum shavings all over the place in here. And that may have been the source of my problem, you know, shorting a circuit somewhere in there. So I've blown it out with air. But I wanted to show you the other um, possible issues. There is a fuse right here on the motherboard that can be replaced. There is another fuse inside of the power supply right about there underneath of this cover plate. I took it off just to verify the power supply. Quick note on the engineering method here. Number one, I had disconnected the power, uh, the power cord before I started any of my checking. I opened up the box and then I looked at the fuse, looked okay, checked it with my uh, ohm meter and then I disconnected the power to the to the board the 24 volt and the 12 volt and then I started tracing back with the ohm meter back to the switch to see if I could figure out uh, what might be the problem I had assumed that the power something had blown inside of the power supply because I had seen the flash from up above uh, the power supply um, Still not 100% certain there isn't something wrong inside of here that actually caused that fuse to blow, but uh, we will see eventually. I have, now that I have traced it all back, I verified, you know, there was no connection between here and here and here when I turned on this switch, and that gave me a big clue, like something's wrong inside of the switch. But uh, once I had sorted it out, then I left the power off of the, off of the, uh, main board and turned on the power with the power cord plugged in and then I verified the 24 volts using using the multimeter verified the 24 and 48 volts and once that looked good then I turned everything back off turned off the switch plug in my power supplies uh, plugged in my um, uh, external controller and turned everything back on and when it came up and uh, was op operating properly at least it looked like it was uh, then I know okay things are things are getting right again hopefully I don't have some short in uh, a motor or something like that that's causing causing a problem but anyway the engineering method you isolate as much as you can trace things back till you get to either a problem or sometimes you'll find there's just something wrong inside the power supply and you just have to buy a new power supply, uh, which in this case would have been $50, which wouldn't have been too bad, but I'm glad to have fixed it without doing that. One more thing, aluminum shavings may have been part of the problem. Uh, I keep this power or the uh, controller sitting upright beside it and I have put a piece of cardboard beside to keep aluminum shavings from flying into this thing, but I have had a problem with aluminum shavings flying into the uh, controller and that certainly can be a problem with shorting out things inside of the uh, power board or the uh, you know, power supply or the control board. And so my next video is probably going to be about me doing a uh, dust slash chip collection system using uh, a shop vac and some tubing and a, and a, and a, nozzle down or a, you know a, a suction setup down here below the spindle so stay tuned for that and uh, subscribe if you want to see it thanks quick functionality test now that everything's back together
all looking good. Hopefully this video has helped you to solve your own power supply CNC controller problems. Feel free to subscribe and uh, live long and prosper.